Top story, that body camera footage of a controversial local arrest is now public. We are talking about homeless veteran Joshua Rohr. Gastonia police arrested him in October for allegedly panhandling. His arrest sparked protests and got national attention. And tonight we have new insight and analysis on those body cam videos showing the arrest, which police released today. And so we are sharing these videos and we are spending time on them because we know so many people wanted to see for themselves what happened. WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monorail spoke to a former FBI agent to break down what the officers and Joshua did. Jane. Fred and Vanessa, the law enforcement expert. I Quentin Williams is a former FBI agent. We watched the body camera video together after it was released Thursday afternoon. At the escalated point, they did everything they had to do to protect themselves and society. The dog was, uh, you know, attempting to bite the foot or nip at the foot of one of the officers and then jump on the hood of the car. The dog is in chaos, doesn't know what's going on. So there's a chance that the dog is going to by his partner. So I get tasing. Williams says what led up to that point is the issue. Somebody help me! Why did the situation become escalated? Why, why was it important to handcuff him? As Officer Sierra Brooks says in the video, the charge was panhandling. That's against city ordinance. The issue is, that is it better to pull him off that median ask him to go to the sidewalk, talk to him, and just have a conversation about, you know, your situation is vulnerable. Anything we can do to help. Williams says some agencies are becoming more adept at diffusing certain situations, and that might have helped in this situation. Warrior mentality versus the guardian mentality. Guardian has to kick in uh, a lot more than it than it has in the past. The hope is to avoid escalation like this. <laughs> Williams says the actions by the officers from the moment the dog bites officer Maurice Taylor might be justifiable. But was it lawful but awful? Meaning the end, the end, the outcome, the end product just looks so awful. Mm -hmm. And could it, could it have been a different outcome if there was a different strategy employed. And because Rohr went to jail that night, his service dog went to a temporary handler and then days later escaped and was hit and killed. Now, the original charges against Rohr were dropped after he pled guilty to a lesser charge. He also has a new service dog. And as for the two officers, Officer Sierra Brooks remains with Gastonia Police Department, but Officer Maurice Taylor resigned in February. Live in studio, Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte. Jane, thanks for breaking that down for us. And for folks at home, we'll remind you that we have a lot more footage on our website. You can check that out. Go to WCNC.com and look for this article.